You want me to put you down, Grady? Do you want to be put down now? Grady. He's given that that whole. <sighs> he's already started making that that exasperated sigh when he's like. <sighs> Do all cats do that? Do all cats do that exactly? You know, never encountered a cat that did that until this one, and she does it about every 10 minutes. Did you learn it from Miracle Grady? Yes. We go on Skype when you guys aren't watching. People would actually pay fucking money to see that. That's, so, that's like we could we could go to bed and just leave the cats on Skype and everybody would be cool. Yeah. Like and, and the funny part about that is. Miracle doesn't even do anything. Like, I would understand that if it was Bridget, who'd be like... Miracle just sits there. This is what Miracle's gonna do, if not bothered, for, like, the next three hours. If nobody touches her, this is what she's gonna do. Well, we have... Watch it. We have another wonderful collection of, of fuckwittery this week, as we are always want to do. Yay, fuckwittery! Shall we get yes. to it? Yes, Tara is engaged. Yes, she is. They forgot. They forget everything. <laughs> but they don't forget the kitties. They don't forget the kitties. The, the, it's, it, the kitties are our new jingling keys. That's how we get. All right. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And, you know, I just typed something to you. I meant to type into the chat. Okay. Well, I can't click on it because your face would go away. You'll have to put it the other place. No, I, I, I was supposed to type it into the chat and I typed it in Skype. I, okay. It, well, wasn't, I, it, was, it was a message for everybody else. Oh, okay. Right. I just had the wrong window to the front. Oh. Also notice you're way too loud tonight, Tara. Sorry. It's not your fault. It's the speakers are goofing up. Let's let's change that. All right, that should be better. I'm from New York. It's hard. <laughs> We're a loud people. So, the first rule of the internet. Uh, I'm thinking of rule 34. That's not the first one. The first rule of the internet is never, ever, ever allow users to customize anything. Because, well, the, the pretty much is whatever, what always occurs is dicks. Mm. That's, that's the first fucking thing. They, they draw dicks everywhere. The, the New York Mets had a contest one year to pick their seventh inning stretch song that people would have a sing along like the Boston Red Sox do Sweet Caroline. They had online fan rolling. Three guesses what what they had to play on opening day. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run around. The internet ripped the New York Mets and all of their fans. And I respected that. I well, was at that game and I was like, you know what? Good on you, internet. The That's UK. Each the UK is trying to name a brand new research vessel um, from the uh, Britain's National Environment Research Council. The options were Shackleton, Endeavor, Falcon, but the internet chose, chose a different name because they put it out for the internet. You can name the boat. The internet chose a different name. Bodie McBoatface. <laughs> Why would you name a boat falcon? That's a bird. Name it after some kind of fish. Boaty McBoatface. I'm pretty sure that's the type of fish. Britain's Natural Environment Research Council asked the public to help think of possible monikers for the new world-class <laughs> ship, urging them to look for an inspirational name. That exemplifies the vessel's mission, a historical figure, movement, landmark, or famous polar explorer or scientist. A name like, you know, Bodie McBoatface. Since that's, the, a, that's a solid, noble name. Since the NERC announced the poll, the internet, as it's wont to do, hijacked it and went full steam ahead with Bodie McBoatface. When the poll's webpage experienced technical issues due to what the NERC said was overwhelming interest, 
Bodie McBoatface had amassed 27,000 votes as of Monday morning, while the second place pick had racked up 3,000. What was the name of the boat in that Wes Anderson Jacques Cousteau movie? Um, the the Life With Aquatic. The yeah, I forget. I think it was the Eleanor. Someone should vote for that. Well, other perhaps less than inspirational names include Ice Ice Baby, Usain Boat, and It's Blood. <laughs> I got that one. That's good. And It's Bloody Cold Here. Mm, not as good. Oh no! I I've seen boat, but only if it's the fastest boat in the world. <laughs> the RMS Bodhi McBoat Face. <laughs> this is why you don't include the internet on anything. I don't. I mean, it could have been something vulgar or horrible. It could have been the RMS Go Fuck Yourself. <laughs> Like, I think we should, I think we should look on the bright side. Here. <laughs> Could have been the RMS Charizard. Like, it's the fucking internet. <laughs> I think Bodie McBoatface is probably our best case scenario. Okay, people are telling me the one in the Life Aquatic was the Belafonte. That's it. There you go. That's it. The Belafonte. The SS Minnow, James. It was the SS Minnow. No okay. points this round. Would have been good. Or. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, well, it's horrible when we're sitting here going, well, it could have been worse. I personally would have gone with not Penny's <clears throat> boat. <laughs> it's just me. Look, don't involve the internet with this shit. You know. Don't do That's that. That's how Stephen Colbert almost wound up with a bridge in Bulgaria. Like, don't don't involve the internet with with, with with if you need to do anything at all, don't involve the internet because they will fuck you somehow in some way, large or small. This was a small fucking. It could have been a much larger fucking, but this was a small fucking. And you know, if you think about it, like <laughs> England isn't a democracy like ours but they do have elections yes. and you think about these are people that get to vote like yes say, they are we're giving the caution that like don't let the general public name your thing but we let the general public decide much more important things like that and that's how president trump happened everyone he hasn't happened yet his hair could still become self-aware and consume him that's what i'm hoping for personally so, moving on to a completely different kind of shenanigans. Um, never let it be said Seattle does things normally. Not even horrible things. Seattle has topless coffee shops. Yeah, they do. And has, as someone that used to be a barista, that is not a thing I would ever do topless. Oh, no, God, no. Because you walk by and just bump into... Everything you could potentially bump into is like nipple searing. Yeah. But they also... Also things they, they tend to do wrong is... Uh, I'm just... This headline. Someone was having fun. That's for damn sure. Seattle PD. Cops seek hipster... Ninja Masturbator. I mean, that's kind of redundant, isn't it? Hipster Ninja. Hipster, hipster Masturbator. Oh, I see what you did there. I see what you did. Police are trying to identify a mask man believed to have masturbated outside a home at the University of Washington students multiple times. Paper's first report on January 10th when a woman called 911 to say she saw a man pleasuring herself outside the front door of her home. Spotting officers were unable to find the offender. A camera in installed at the home caught the mas masturbator at the same home February 7th, showing a man covered head to toe in black, save for body parts used to perform his mission. Actually, now that you've read it, I think hipster is a misnomer because hipsters want you to see everything that they do. Yeah. They are so desperate for attention. No hipster would masturbate in public in a ninja outfit. He has to be wearing a fucking ironic Mr. Bubble t-shirt and drinking a PBR so that everybody will know how ironically he's masturbating in public. 
This is just... I... I mean... Really? This guy went Most home... importantly, don't do this. This guy, wherever he works, he went home from work... And most people who put on a costume like this, they fight crime. This guy. In reality, most people who put on a costume like this are probably LARPing. Okay, yeah. But this guy. This the Marvel Universe. This guy, this is like, this is what would really fucking happen if we had superheroes. This is the, the masturbator. This yeah. is, I, he was sitting at home one night and he was thinking, I must become a symbol. Of what? Jerking off. I must become a symbol of hipsters. Apparently I'm mad at hipsters today. Apparently, yeah. Um, I mean, like I need to justify that, but you know. Okay, the masked turbator. The masked <laughs> turbator. Well done. Well done. Or perhaps just the jerk. The j oh, okay. Okay. No, I think Steve Martin still got the trademark on that. I don't know. He's like doing blue black. Oh, filming Grim. He's a member of the hand. Oh. Oh, I mean, topical. He's like a ninja. Topical. Yeah. yeah. I just, th this was a plan. This guy went through the effort. Just like Daredevil, he ordered this off the internet. Only instead of going out to stop criminals and, you know, his father avenging and all that, he, he went out to be a criminal. To jerk off to people while looking through their windows. One of the grossest kinds of criminal. Yeah. Don't do that. What? This is not. Why would you? Mm. Just. You have an internet connection. <laughs> it's free now. Yep, it's everywhere. You don't have to pay for a damn... If you want titties, they're everywhere. Ev literally everywhere. You just you type titties into Google and boom! I mean, shut off safe search. Well, yeah, but... But porn is free now. <sighs> it's not that difficult. There's, there's a... Plethora, a cornucopia of jerk off material available anytime you want it. You do not need to do this. You do not need to be a gross, horrible, terrifying person. I will say, though, at least, you know, the whole outfit, they haven't caught him yet because he, 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 well, I guess there is one thing they can identify him by. That's going to be a fuck of a lineup, isn't it? Yeah. Oh boy. You want? I'm sorry. You, you don't want a picture of my face. What do you want? A little bit lower. Little Perhaps little the only lower. time someone will ever really sincerely ask for a dick pic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, moving on. Um, from the giving gamers a bad name department. <clears throat> so. Lots of things you want to do if you want to attempt to rob a place. Um, but one very important element is before you go out, you want to make sure your, your getaway vehicle has a full tank. Fleeing suspect runs out of gas, flags down police for a ride. <laughs> Columbus, Ohio, a thief running out of gas during a getaway might just be dumb luck. Asking police for a ride, that might just be dumb. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least they didn't call an Uber. <laughs> like last week. Store employee said a man walked into the Game On store and asked to see two Nintendo DS games. One didn't work, so employee Josh Perna took it, turning his back for just a second to give it to the store manager. He ran out the door with the other one, Perna said. Perna called the police. And the store manager ran after the thief, whose bad luck was just beginning. Store security camera captured a nice image of the thief's face. As he escaped, his Dodge Ram truck was caught on camera. Columbus Those two guzzle a lot of gas. I'm sorry. Am I not allowed to put my elbow up there? Okay. My Columbus bad. Columbus police officer watched the camera footage, took a report, and set off to see if he could track down the truck. Store employees didn't expect to hear from the officer again. 
They didn't count on the thief's next move. As the officer drove down Glendora Road, he spotted the suspect running across the front yard. The officer got out of his car, and the suspect, identified as Dustin Ray Hall, ran up to him and explained he had run out of gas. He asked the officer for a ride. Sure. Yeah. In the back. Yeah, you're definitely getting a ride with a cop today. Yeah, it's your lucky day. The officer gave They're Hall. Not going a, home though. No, the officer gave Hall a ride, which included stops at Game On, so employees could identify him, and the Franklin County Jail, where the 28-year-old was charged with misdemeanor count of theft. When you are doing crime, the cops are not your friends. No, they're not. They are. They are on the other. Let's put this in gamer terms. They're on the other team. Right. They're okay? NPCs. They're, they're the they're the other team and their job is to stop you that's this how it works. probably thought he was like this was going to be the best story like oh my god not only did i rob a place but the fucking cops gave me a ride home no except no because you suck at yeah the, the the whole the whole term of matching your description. That's what the cops look for. If you rob a place, they get a description and they go look for you. And if you fit that description, you should probably avoid the cops because they're looking for you. Yeah. This was this was scoring on your own goal, dude. Pretty much, yeah. You you pretty much did all the work for them. You could have just walked home in the other direction. If you saw a cop, you avoid them for 50. You could have filled your gas tank before you committed a crime. All this for a $50 DS game. Yeah, you could have not stolen a video game. I bet you anything he could have found that shit on eBay for like 10 bucks. Probably. You could fucking, can't you rent video games for like $8 now and then yeah. just send them back when you're bored? Like, yeah. What game was it? They didn't say what game it was. This isn't even a crime you needed to commit. Wait, wait, wait. Someone in the channel is like, what game is it? Does it matter? No, it does not. Well, no, if it, if it was Pokemon, I could understand. I know! <laughs> I'd steal a Pokemon. No, you know! Don't Ooh. steal Pokemon! That's bad. Don't do that. Is Pokemon a video game? Yes. Whoa. I thought it was just a card game. Whoa. I don't know dick about... I can name, like, three Pokemon, okay? Whoa. I can name three Pokemon because my nephew, when I was living there, got really into Pokemon and would show me all his Pokemon cards and Whoa. made me play Pokemon and always kicked my ass because oh, I don't no. understand Pokemon. I'm old. Congratulations, Tara. You have just ruined the comments for this video. You have ruined them. Newsflash, guys. I am an old... Everything in the comments for the, for, for this week is just going to be less than a year away from forty, and it, I don't get Pokemon. It's going to be Pokemon. Linkara is going to show up and and do like a history of Pokemon for you. It's going to be like three pages long with annotations and footnotes and shit. It's you've ruined it. It's ruined the comment. They're ruined. I don't read them, but they're ruined. <laughs> I read them. Well, there you ruin them for yourself. There you go. No, I love it when people yell at me in the comments. Ah, so. Somebody with a Pokemon icon, somebody with a Pikachu icon. And that's the thing. It took me like a few years to realize that the yellow, yellow guy is not named Pokemon. <laughs> I thought he was Pokemon. <laughs> Turns out he's not. He's Pikachu. He's Pikachu. I thought he was Pokemon. And I'm like, well, then who's Pokemon? And my nephew's like, they're all Pokemon. And I'm like, oh, I, I knew that. What, like Spartacus? Anyway, uh, <laughs> no, I'm Pokemon. No, I'm Pokemon. So uh, one of the things about social media that people just will not fucking get is... I'm old, but I should not be ignorant. Oh, yeah, you're ignorant because you didn't know Pokemon was a fucking no, Pokemon? game. Pokemon? Pokemon? You just <laughs> ignorant. You just ignorant. Um, One of the things about social media is when you post something online, pretty much everybody can see it. Yeah. And and it never goes away. 
it's also one of those things that reveal people's true natures because you find out people think something would be really, really funny and everyone else realizes it's, it's fucking horrifying. And they're kind of surprised to find out they're monsters. This is definitely a ghost directly to hell, do not collect $200 sort of story. Disturbing social photo was a joke. Memphis Police Department is investigating a disturbing photo that surfaced Friday in social media. The photo shows two children duct tape at their hands and mouth. The picture is captioned, quote, kids for sale, 45% because they bad. Picture was posted by Facebook user Jayton Just Silly. That, that's... That, that, that's not a mispronouncing. Jason, just silly. Jababi, who has since deactivated the account. In addition, other state departments are investigating this photo. That's, that's not funny. His message. Do you think that that's funny? His message reads in part, basically a, a joke at the moment that people just went overboard about people make mistakes. And that's what this situation is. A lesson learned. Oh, okay, Beeve. That's one to grow on. You had to... You had to put it on social media to learn this lesson? Yeah, that's not a lesson you should have to learn. That should be something that by the time you're... Because do you know, like, fine, your kids weren't actually for sale. You're probably aware by adulthood that duct tape hurts like a motherfucker to remove from human skin, particularly the delicate, extra soft skin of young children. And the kids weren't in on this. I Look, if you look in that picture, you can see there's another adult in the background. So this wasn't just one adult who thought this. There was no one around to go, hey, 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 this this might not be a good plan. Let's like there's a meme this. on the internet of a kid that's duct taped to the wall. Uh -huh. You notice, you, you shouldn't do that either. But yeah. you, you'll notice if you look at that picture carefully, none of the duct tape is actually touching that kid. No. His clothes and baby harness are duct taped to the wall. So like yeah. you still shouldn't do that. But at least that child wasn't harmed. Your kids are not props for your weird, <gasps> you know, that's, that's not how this works. Also, Child abuse isn't funny. No, it isn't. Here's it, the simple question is, would you do this to someone else's child? If the answer is no, probably shouldn't do it to your own. Why wouldn't you do it to someone else's child? Because I'd get in trouble. Well, there you fucking go. There you, that's all you need right there. Even if you don't understand why it's wrong, because I get in fucking trouble should be enough to fucking halt you in your goddamn tracks. I used to babysit a kid who had an unfortunate habit of getting his diaper off and painting the walls with it. I think you've told us this one. So we had to duct tape his diaper to him. But you didn't duct tape the diaper to him. You just duct taped it shut so he couldn't get it open. And you secured the diaper so he couldn't. Exactly. You just wrapped a layer of duct tape around where the little... This, I don't even know what to call them because I don't do babies very much. Things are. This shit isn't cool. This no. How do you? How do you? How are you a grown person and not understand this shit's not cool? Don't do this. Speaking of this, this shit's not cool. Fortunately, this doesn't involve actual shit. But, um. So Tara, you're a woman. Um, uh oh, thank, uh -oh. thank you for noticing. Yeah. Um, when you're being courted, when, David, when are... you know, I'm a woman. Really? I thought I was gay. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you're being, ha! I tricked him. <laughs> when you're being courted, what are some things you look for for a potential suitor? Um, hmm. humor is a good one. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, general courtesy and, you know, not being an arrogant dickbag is always nice. Um, what about gunfire? 
Never. Never? Really? Are you sure? Never, never? Really, really sure. Well, then this guy must have made a mistake. Um, man fires off gun to impress woman. John A. Jett, 34, was arrested just before midnight Monday at Antelope Garden Apartments. Jett was taken to jail and charged with discharging a fire alarm, firearm in city limits. Officials say Jett was firing the gun to get the attention of a woman who lived inside the apartment complex. That's not the same as throwing pebbles at her window. No. No. And even then, you probably shouldn't do that. That's just, that's I mean, creepy. If you're a teenager, fine. If you're a grown-ass person, if you're 34 years old, maybe just knock on the front door. Or like, yeah. Don't be like, it, it, okay. Even say anything. Even that shit with the boombox. That's a little cre creepy. That's it a, is a little that, creepy. That is a little creepy. But, Especially in the middle of the night. Yeah. But gunfire does not make... That's a lot creepy. That's actually terrifying. Yeah, that's not one of those where they go, Hark, someone's at my window. No, no, that's... I've got to hide under the bed now. Yeah. Because bullets are flying. I mean, you've gotten her attention. Just not in the... Th th this is not in the... It's not like, bang! Hey, you want to go get a pizza? That's... Why are you screaming? What's... What... Did... did Aftershave? Is it something wrong? What? Why would this be the way you'd go? I don't know. Like, boys do stupid shit to get girls' attention from the start. Like, they pull your pigtails, and everyone's like, oh, he must like you. And it's like, really? Oh, he must be a dick bag. Because yeah. yeah. why is he's gonna why is he telling me he likes me by being a jackass? That doesn't yeah. make sense. So I understand that the, because of the way the boys are socialized and because of the way the girls are socialized, they, sometimes this shit gets a little mixed up. A little bit. I get that. But, but, but gunfire? No, that's not, that's, that's not, that, that's not romantic. Unless you are actually at the firing range and she is obviously interested in your guns and doing something impressive with your gun would impress her. And that is obvious. That is like the only situation wherein this is an appropriate. Yeah. Icebreaker. This is not one of those ones where you're going to be telling your grandkids about it. It's going to be like, and then I pulled out my gun and fired at her window and it was love ever since. No, that's not how that works. No. What it's caliber not... was it, Grandpappy? Oh, it was a nine millimeter. Oh, I still have that gun. Yeah, I go out sometimes. And now, Billy, I pass it on to you. Really, Grandpa? Yeah. Wow. So go you out can and shoot at some girl you like. Yeah, you can go shoot some girl you like and just like your old grandpappy. No, that's that's not how that works. No. That's that's not romance. Yes, I, I suggest you chill on the channel says. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? That's a bullet hole. Is <laughs> no, what light that is. Breaking. That's the window breaking. Yeah, that's this is not, no, 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 no. Finally tonight, okay, this story, everyone sent me this story. And this story made me so sad. Did you ever see Mallrats, Tara? I did. And I think I know where we're going. And this happened not too mm -hmm. far from me. Mallrats was, I, I want you, was not shot in New Jersey. But, but it, it took place, place in New Jersey. And everyone was like, that thing's absurd. That's not a thing that could happen. I swear to God, I had to look this up to find out if I was being pranked or not. Nope. But oh no, not only was I not being pranked, kids, we got video. Hell yeah, we do. We got fucking video. Let me let me bring this up on the big screen here. Let's 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 everybody have a look. This happened at a mall in Jersey, and I don't know how well you can see. Let's move that. What you're watching right now is a guy in an Easter Bunny outfit in a fucking fist fight. Explain that to all the kids in the line. The Easter Bunny... The Easter Bunny beat up a guy. 
my favorite part is he goes away for a bit in a minute and, and then they he drag him away and then he comes back and fucking loses the gloves like a goddamn goalie throws off the easter bunny gloves like a fucking goalie in a fucking they have to drag the easter bunny off this there's mall security right now coming by to drag the easter bunny off this poor bastard and Lionheart in the channel goes, Easter Bunny did that? He's fucking dead. Imagine being a little kid. In that. Now, granted, like, the Easter Bunny pictures aren't as big a deal as the Santa pictures. And I don't even understand the Easter Bunny pictures, but so whatever. So many kids are terrified of the Easter Bunny. Like, I don't know why we do it to them. Like, I don't know why we instill that terror in children. But we do. But... There are kids in that line, like not as many as to see Santa, but a few. And not only do they now know that the Easter Bunny in the mall is not real because dude took off the head. Yeah. That you also have to explain to them why that's not the real Easter Bunny and why someone that works for the Easter Bunny would beat the crap out of a dude. If I saw, if I saw this happening, if I was there live as a, I would swear to God I was being punked. Because I'd, I'd be like, is this some Kevin Smith shit? Is he doing a new movie? Where are the fucking cameras? Is this, this, because this is, it took, it's a, it's mind boggling. You, you know that whole uh, a thousand monkeys typing for a thousand years would yeah. turn out. It only took 20 years for reality to vomit out a scene from mall rats. <laughs> oh God. The monkeys weren't supposed to type that. They weren't supposed to type that. How does this happen? How it just, I, I mean, I guess he offended the Easter bunny somehow. Maybe he made a watership down joke. Snoochy boochies, man. Snoochy fucking boochies. Maybe he said Cadbury cream eggs suck, which they do. Man. You don't point that out to the Easter Bunny. What kind of asshole are you who you can piss off the Easter Bunny? Right? That's like, you know, here comes Peter Cotton. Oh, apparently yeah. the Easter Bunny dropped the guy's toddler. <gasps> oh, yeah. Well, Easter Bunny had it coming. Easter Bunny the fuck had that coming. I mean, I imagine you have big gloves on and a big thing, and I imagine it's hard to hold on to a kid, but... Yeah, but even still, go get go get mall security. Go get fucking mall security. Don't wail on... Especially when the Easter Bunny just will tear you up. Easter Bunny Who ain't no joke. That? What? Who <laughs> expects the Easter Bunny to fucking throw down? <laughs> Who expect? Yeah, you know... Who expects the Easter Bunny to kick your ass? It's guy in an Easter Bunny costume. You don't expect him to come out there and just throw. He th I, the video is great because he throws off the gloves, like yeah. it's a fucking hockey fight. Oh. Oh, he dropped a toddler. I mean, on one hand, yes, that's terrible, obviously. Yeah. But assuming the kid was okay, which you'd like to think that the kid was okay if Daddy had time to start a fight with the Easter Bunny. And not focus on rushing that kid to an ambulance. You'd like to think that the, the kid was okay. You'd Assuming like the kid was okay, you probably chalk it up to an honest mistake because that dude is wearing big unwieldy gloves and a big furry costume. You don't and you go about your day. You don't tool up and 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 go to town or try to go to town on the Easter Bunny and then get your ass handed to you by the Easter Bunny. No, I did used to read Sluggy Freelance. I know that bunny will cut you. Well, yeah. But I think they're going to put him in a mall and let children sit on his lap. No, he's he's too small. Bun Bun's too little. Plus, and he carries a knife. He has a switchblade, yeah. <laughs> I just, it just, why this, it just. Uh... I used to read Sluggy Freelance because somebody told me I was like a character. What was her name? Was it the one with the glasses? No, it was one that it turned out when I started reading was a total fucking psycho. And I was like, okay, thanks. Yes. She had a weird oasis. Was I think that her, the one with the hair. Yeah. 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 Someone was like, oh, you remind me of this character from Snuggy Freelance. So I started reeling, reading it and I was like, 
Thank okay. you. I don't think we're friends anymore. Well, what have we learned this week? First thing we've learned this week is don't start a fight with the fucking Easter Bunny. Don't fuck with the Easter Bunny in Jersey, man. Yeah, it's Jersey. The Easter Bunny, don't don't fight. We've learned, ladies, they like uh, they like flowers. They like thoughtful gestures. They like you know being treated like a human being. They don't like gunfire. We we don't like being shot at. It's a weird thing with us. You yeah, know? I know. Like it's, it's just. I know we women were so fucking picky and high maintenance. I know, but we just we don't like being shot at. I'm sorry. We've learned if you get condemned on social media for doing something really monstrous, you probably deserved it. Yeah. Don't do that shit. Duct tape is not for children. We've learned if you're going to rob a place, make sure your gas tank is full before. We've learned that I might have finally found the thing that makes the internet turn on me. Yeah, you don't know Pokemon. Pokemon's a video game? But I have a cute kitty yeah. who's angry at you. We've learned that now we're having super villains whose most heinous crime is jerking off at you through your window. Lovely. Yeah. And finally, we've learned never, ever, 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 ever let the internet pick a name for anything. That's a bad idea. Don't. It's bad for business. Don't involve the internet in your choices because they're going to choose the worst option. Right, kitty? Yeah, people are fucking horrible. Except when they feed me. <laughs> <laughs>